Hey everyone, Raptor Rising here. Today we are flying the F-18 Hornet on a seed strike in an airbase. The target is called Mouse and we are packing some arms for self-protection. Our main weapons will be our AGM-54 CJ SOWs. The targets are basically two SA-11 launchers and a clamshell radar. Let's get started. Make sure our wings are in the right position based on where our handle is. Good. Check our parking brake. That's good. It's pretty noisy on deck. I'm going to close the canopy. All right, much better. Okay. Engine fire left. Engine fire left. Engine fire right. Engine fire right. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. Okay, that one was simple enough. Engine fire left. Engine fire left. Engine right fire. Engine right fire. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. Excellent. There goes a the Tomcat. Full afterburner ready to launch. And we'll start our APU while that's going on. Guys, brilliant. Okay. Crank our right engine first. percent put our throttle to idle we'll let her kick on just start getting all of our lights ready that's not quite ready Flight controls. Perfect. So bringing all the systems to life. Kind of hot tonight, so I'll put some more air in the cockpit. There we go. Alright, so both of our engines are running. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the APU. Pretty good. And now let's check our Flickus. Flight control system. There it goes, starting its self uh, built in test. Looks good, okay. Now, let's see, I believe our tack in for the mother is 21. Maybe it's not.
it could be. Looks like alignment's complete. And we'll reset our flip, flight control systems. And we got to trim the takeoff. And I believe 16 is appropriate based on our loadout. I'm going to double check on the briefing what our TAC and channel was. I apologize, but I... Oh, it's just one. Okay. And ICLS is one as well. Well then. That'll work. Oops. Alright. Start bringing that online. Data link on. Just double checking IFF on. Very important. Okay. Okay, we'll do one more check here. Lights are all good. And I will do the. I think they call it the four down test. Air brake, refueling probe, speed brake as out, and tail hook is down, as well as the anti ice systems. Alright. Make sure that these are the right steps. We are doing a carrier. Er, uh, departure and scheduled arrival and anti-skid therefore should be off as well so we'll go ahead and get everything configured for takeoff at this point I think we're ready okay I'm going to blind the crap out of that dude, but until they have reflective vests and uh, night ones, I don't really have much of an option here. Okay. Spread the wings. Down they go. Drop the launch bar as he's commanded. All right, we're ready to shoot. Check our flight controls, free and clear. Okay. We'll 
salute. Hey everyone, we're here at Waypoint 2 at about 27,000, 28,000 feet over Syria and bring its borders. We are going to begin our offensive pursuit here. So, first off, let's go dark. Alright. Master on, on. Radar jammer, that's where you see stores and dispensers are set up correctly, we've bit tested that, I'm good there, just making sure that all of our dots are crossed here, oh, excuse me, all of our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed, alright, I think we're looking good, let's switch to area ground master mode, and we'll just, uh, ride this one in. Now I suspect that that clamshell or that SA-11 that we were pinging, or snowdrift, sorry, not clamshell, snowdrift, that we're pinging is part of our target mouse, but uh, it's also way too far to launch in... Um, TOO or self-protect mode because the harms will no longer loft in those modes as appropriate. Um, they're not meant to loft unless they have ranging information. Alright, we point to you. We are fenced. Commencing. Plenty of contacts. Looks like we have a Mirage cap flight engaging a fulcrum, some B-52s ingressing from the east, up north looks pretty quiet, alright we're just gonna keep coming on. Alright we're at Angels 31, and we're just gonna hold, it seems plenty high. I'll pick up some speed. There's another soldier. 12 o'clock. Receiving from a SAM. That is an SA-11 pinging us. I'll put that on the hood so we get some more SA on there. They are not pinging us anymore. I think that's our target. Drift over there. 29. Not a threat. Not yet. Not for us. But 29 might be in range. Or snowdrift. Eh, maybe not. Kind of far. And then there's that one. That's really far for a harm shot in uh, TOO. Well, it seems like the Fulcrum is fighting the Mirage and they're dogfighting. We are entering this threat circle for this SA-11, so we do have to contend with that. Yep, he's launched on us. Magnum. Alright, I'm gonna go defensive here. 
working perfectly that airborne uh, aircraft self-protect jammer that's a new feature of this uh, this patch cycle as well and oh man that thing is awesome all right let's start our ingress here Command my wingman to engage air defenses and not be a little engage scared. Alright, uh, yeah, he's, he's good. Good, 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 good. He's on mission. Yes, and I am doing transmit designate, so I should be able to see his attack lines. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. So now we'll switch to JSOWs. Oh no, I unaligned them. Terrible. That's terrible. Okay. No big deal. We'll just carry on. There's no reason to try to be that aggressive and at this point. Oh, that's fantastic. You can see exactly which target he's going for. And he's going for the snow drift in the SA-11 there to my north. Northeast, really. Phenomenal. Okay. I am going to target that big bird radar. This is probably a scrap shot, but that's fine. Magnum. Back to JSAL, so we still have another half a minute. So I may... I may actually stay outside of the threat circle for just a little bit longer while we're doing that. Do a designate on that point. point. There you are. We see you. Let's switch them to there. And target of opportunity for both sections. Okay. We're going to roll in now. It says we're in range, so we're going to commits here.
definitely in range. Okay, cool. Bruiser. Bruiser. There's our last one right there. Bruiser. And... Targets of opportunity. Actually, looks like a pretty juicy target right there. Loser. All right, well, we're gonna get the heck out of here. So it looks like we had the launchers are dead, but the snowdrift is still alive. That, but you know what? That's significantly less capable than they were before we got there. So I will take that, and we're going to get out of here. Still got plenty of fuel before bingo, but we don't want to hang around. Generally not cool to hang around the people you just bought. They tend to uh, not take too well to that. Switch to uh, air to air. I'm just skip because I know there were some fulcrums we could see on the map. I'm just gonna try to get out of here. We've got plenty of fuel, yeah. Alright, I think it looks like we have a friendly here on our data link that is either engaging or has taken care of the problem. I'm gonna change the uh, Jammer to receive only, and we'll just continue our egress. Once we hit uh, waypoint five, we'll fence out, and we have a very fun uh, recovery ahead of us because it is nighttime and we are doing a case three. So. Looks like it was a successful strike. I'll see you guys when we get a little closer to Mother. Alright everyone. So we are approaching Mother. 
Um, we've been vectored to uh, our DME of 21 on radial 29 or 5. So we're just kind of getting established in that. So um, for those of you who are maybe not as aware, that's Mother, which is the aircraft carrier. This line with the arrow pointing up represents heading of 29 or 5. Uh, we want to be heading away from that, following that radial, and then doing a race track, maintaining about 21 miles distance. And our approach time is uh, 04. So at 6.04 is when we're approved to turn toward Mother and begin uh, our actual landing procedure. So we're going to be doing this for a little while. That's okay. It's just what the Navy wants us to do. I so can start turning off all of those non-critical systems. And our ILS, that's on. Perfect. Good, good, good. We will need that. Above bingo. I think I... I'm pretty confident that we have enough fuel to finish. Okay, so yeah, I confirmed on the map that we did in fact destroy two of the three targets. Uh, the two critical targets, which were of course the uh, two launchers are gone, and all they have left is the tra the search radar, which is the snowdrift, um, which can't launch missiles at our aircraft, but it can detect them coming, so um, we'll definitely have to circle back and take out that snowdrift for a uh, mouse, but as far as silencing the threat, um, the, the two major launchers, the, the big concerns around that airfield are eliminated, so... Uh, I think all they have left surrounding that airbase that's uh, defendable is going to be an SA-9, uh, which, if you're attacking from high altitude, really isn't a threat. If you look ahead, you can see all the other aircraft in the pattern, just following their red lights, doing their racetracks. Really cool how um, Eagle Dynamics was able to um, get all of this simulated accurately so that we can really feel like we're... Um, landing on a real aircraft carrier and following the right procedures. It's uh, very impressive. Alright, um, I am going to get through all of this fun pattern work. I'll see you guys at the initial. Alright everyone, after few loops and racetracks, we are now inbound to Mother. You see that long flashing red light up in the distance? That's the ship. That's uh, it letting us know that we are lined up to the left. We'll appear amber as we get closer to make some more corrections. So now we need to descend to 1,200 feet. Altitude. Zero one zero. Commencing. State two point six. Altimeter two nine or point nine or three. Zero one zero. Radar contact one seven miles. Expect final bearing one one five. Zero one zero. Switch approach. Okay. Zero one zero. And a check in with approach. Zero one zero. Checking in. Sixty miles. Zero one zero. Approach. Final bearing one one knots. Zero one zero. Very 
know, by 12 miles, we want to be at Angel's, uh, well, uh, I guess, 1,200 feet um, ASL. And we'll call platform at that point. Now, see that, lamp, that light in the distance is turned amber, which means that we are lined up right where we want to be. So I'm going to turn to the final direction, which is 115, um, which you can see kind of up here. And we're just going to keep following that heading, try to maintain an amber light. Descend a little bit more. All right, there we go. Now we can platform. Zero one zero platform. Zero one zero. Roger. And we're going to get to 800 feet and hold. Zero one zero. Fly full side. Slow down zero a little bit. Zero. Maintain 800 feet ASL if we can. Somewhere around there. Drop our hook now. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Don't worry. aren't showing up. Oh, well, I guess they will once we get closer, won't they? Zero, one, zero. ECLS lock on. Six miles. Six yeah, there they are. Zero, one, zero. Up yeah. and on. Gears down. Flaps down. Zero, one, zero. This airplane is just producing tons of lift, so I'm trying to battle that as we slow down. Okay, looks good. Zero, one, zero. Approaching glide path. And so once we're on the glide path, it really should just set itself. Zero, one, zero. Like we maintain our altitude, and once we get to about three miles, we should just be able to drop the flight path marker onto the uh, outline of the deck we can see, and it should just take it from there. Good. Well, we're lined up a little to the right. We're still a little high. That's all right. That's an easy fix. You can really start seeing the, the aircraft carrier. And finally. Let's start dropping. And now we're three quarters of a mile. Zero one zero. Ornithol. Two point zero. Good. Bingo. Bingo. 
That's all right. A little low, not too big of a deal. All right. Uh, it wasn't a three. I got a two wire, but it was an okay grade, so it was a good approach. And we're down. We are back on mother. Hook up, Fuel flaps low. up. Fuel low. Oh, settle down, Betty. We're okay. All right. Let's park. Start shutting the aircraft down, turning off all of the systems, have the crew put the wheel chocks in place. Chief, place the wheel chocks. You can go back to Copy. zero. Wheel chocks are now in place. Radar altimeter system off. Lock the EDI. You can probably turn that off. I don't know, we'll bleed our hydraulic system. Getting it nice and low. We're gonna set our trim back to normal. Flaps down. Now we'll look at our bling and record that. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually record it. Let's do that again. Perfect. Okay. Take that off. Start turning off the panels. HUDs off. And finally, uh, to try to keep the floodlights on as possible, as long as possible. Um, yeah, looks good. Floodlights off. Canopy opening. It's good to be home. All right, everyone, this has been DCS F-18 Hornet on Liberation, day one, night one, Cap recapping a deed attack on Objective Mouse, and it was successful. Let's just enjoy that for a second. Amazing. Uh, we've cleared out a good amount of space for um, follow-on targets. Uh, I think we can start focusing on doing some OCA attacks now, uh, denying the enemy their ab ability to send fighters to the sky. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone hanging around watching. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next time on Raptor Rising Gaming.